Um, are you comfortable? No. You gotta see it here. Your face is. So it was about a year ago that David asked me to do a video. And it, at first it didn't set real well with me, and I had to really consider either A, the ramifications, or or B, what it would mean to me. And um, so for some reason now, I guess, is the time. And there's no way that I would do this video particularly without having him here. So um, this is probably the first of many videos. And if you guys have any questions or um, any kind of comments you want to make, feel free to. And um, I, I will address your, your questions as they come. So one of the things that that I've been thinking about is what has been my um, best decision I've made. And I can, I can tell you that it was almost five years ago that I was sitting on an airplane thinking, do I stay here and, and walk away from my life and change everything? Or do I go home and play it out and take a chance? And I came home. I, I thought long and hard about staying where I was at because I had just met David. And which meant like changing everything, an entirely different life for me. And um, I didn't know if I was ready for it. Didn't know what the, the ramifications of if I just up and left the career I had built in life I had started for something I wasn't certain of. And um, uh, that's the best decision I've ever made, is to continue to see what happened next. And uh, I, 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 tell, I tell friends of mine all the time that I've had a conversation that's lasted, at this point, almost five full years. And uh, so whenever I first met David, within the first couple of days he had told me about Asperger's and I didn't know anything about it and being determined that I can know everything about everything I came home and I asked friends who were doctors and psychologists and my counselor and and what Asperger's was and I was given a very specific a very specific description of what exactly Asperger's involved and so I thought okay well you know these are these are things that that sound interesting and I'm a, at that time I thought I was this amazingly patient person who could find the good in every situation and and make everything work out and so I move forward, <laughs> and um, what I learned is that I wasn't the most patient person, and I wasn't as understanding, and I wasn't as tolerant, and I really didn't know anything other than what a textbook would tell you about Asperger's, and um, it... it It's hard to think about what someone can go through whenever whenever they are affected by Asperger's and being in a relationship with with an Aspie. And um, I know some of you don't like being called Aspies, and some refer to yourselves as all different kinds of things. So uh, if I offend you, I apologize. I, I mean no offense by abbreviating it. So uh, over the last five years. I've learned a lot, and I've experienced a lot, and have have a whole new life because of that. 
And I think it takes a willingness to look at yourself and, and see see how you can be a better person. Asperger's is a challenging diagnosis, but it doesn't define your life. Um, there are many great things that I, I've got to witness because I've been with David. And um, I, 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 it's taken me a good year and a half to fully accept the fact that that my life is a million times better with him. We have still had a conversation that continues. One of the things with Asperger's is the amazing attention to detail with things that kind of slip right past me. Um, the, there are just lists of things. There's the... Um, the, the funny, quirky things that he does that, you know, at first I didn't understand, and being someone who knew nothing about Asperger's, other than what you can read or find out online, it, um, it made no sense to me. I thought, well, this is something, why don't you just change it? Why can't you just do this? Why can't you just do that? What is wrong with this? What is wrong with that? And, and I, I had this whole wrong approach to to being as accepting as what I would hope that someone who's in this situation would be. I, I can honestly say I wasn't fair, I wasn't patient, I uh, made tons of mistakes, and we took a, a, a break for six months, almost to the day, and uh, It, it it taught me a lot, and there were some good resources that kind of opened my eyes. One of the one of the things I would suggest to anybody with any kind of autism disorder or spectrum, wherever you find yourself, House Rules by Jody P. Cole, fantastic book. Get it, read it, learn it, live it, because that's about as real as it gets. Um. There's a, <laughs> there's a great many things about David that I love, and I, I, I hope that he's able to insert a clip of the first song that he sang to me, because it means the world. So, anybody who has questions about Asperger's or, or, or being neurotypical with a non-neurotypical However, however your life is affected by it, if your friends, family, need some help understanding things that may not make sense to you at first, but you realize what a unique gift it is to have someone with Asperger's in your life. My love for him grows every day. So, thanks for listening. <laughs> Let me know. Thanks. <laughs> I am unwritten. Can't read my I'm mind. Like, you like song? Mm -hmm. I'm undefined. I'm just beginning. The pen's in my hand. Ending unplanned. Staring at the blank page before you Open up the dirty window Looking at the words Can I find me? Reaching something in the distance So close you, you can, can almost taste, taste it, it. Release your inhibitions Feel the rain on your skin No one else can feel it for you Only you can let it in No one else, no one else can speak the words on your lips yourself with words and spoken live your life with thoughts wide open today is where the book begins the rest is still unwritten oh um